now that we have a dashboard for our XGBoost pipeline and our SKLearn pipeline, let's create a dashboard for our entire project. Here we'll create a custom chart. And for this one, let's show the RMSE root mean squared error metric across all the bottles. First, we're going to create a custom data source so that we can pull data from MLflow, which is saved in a SQLite database. So we're going to add a util function to make this really easy because we're going to reuse this data source this data yeah. in multiple charts. And all this utility function does is executes a query on the SQLite database and returns a data frame from it. Here you use a SQLite, here's a query, there's a bunch of joins, creates a data frame with a few columns. Great, now let's go ahead and put in some code that will call that function. So let's import it. And to learn more about all this, you can see the page in our developer documentation on creating charts on a customized dashboard. So here we're just typing out the function, simply returns load data, which is a data frame. Okay, let's name this training metrics and the root mean squared error. Let's use a time series line chart. Our data source will be custom code that we just wrote. And we'll use the start time column as a time column. We could also change the interval. Let's do let's do minute. And then we'll need to choose uh, what metrics to display. So we'll group it by start time and we'll do, let's do the average score for the XGBoost model. And we can chart more metrics. Let's do the average score for the linear regression model. Oh, actually that's the wrong metric. That's the mean squared error. Let's go ahead and change that. And that looks more like it. And then let's do the average for the lasso model. Oh, we added the mean squared error again. Let's go ahead and change that. And that looks better. We can also change the label of the x-axis since we're doing it, since we're grouping by minute. All right, now we can see the hour and the minute on the x-axis. Let's also change the y-axis values since the floats are so the decimal places to the floats are so long. Great. Looks good. Let's change the width since it's spanning so long. And let's make it a little taller. 